Hello everyone, Mr. Merkage here and today is part 12 in the Skype tool series and I'm going to be showing you how to use uh, or create a status looper. You might have seen it in other tools and as you can see as someone's just come online now, um, he's do not disturb. It'll just keep displaying do not disturb. It uh, it cycles through loads of different uh, st online statuses so it can be quite annoying if it does show up. Like It doesn't always show up down the bottom right on people's screens but if it does it is certainly an annoyance. Um, so yeah, I'm going to be showing you how to create it. It's, it's not too hard. Um, so yeah, let's just get into it. Uh, I've got to find the page that I want it on first of all. Um, yeah, this this page will do. Um, we just copy this and uh, drag this down here. The insides of this I'll delete. And I'll change this to status looper. And inside of here, we're going to want a t just two buttons will do. One button there. Uh, yeah, so we'll name this button start and this button stop. Uh, and we're going to go into the toolbox and we need the timer. Double click a timer. And if you click on the timer here, uh, there's something called the interval. It's like how many seconds for each tick or something like that. But I'm going to use 1500 for that. And um, if you double click, or well, first of all, just go into start. And we're going to type timer1.start. And do the same for stop. Um, timer one dot stop. Yeah, so that's that. And if you come into the timer and double click the timer, um, this is where basically we're going to change the statuses. Um, it's basically the same sort of code as when we did the um, status changer, uh, online status. Sorry. So if we just click this, it's basically the same as this. So we can take this. And we want to uh, pop that in the timer. So when we press the button, it's going to set us to online. Um, and we just want a little if statement. If if we're online equals true, then uh, we're going to put us to a different status. So we'll put away. Um, and after that, we need the end if. Uh, end if 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 we're away then I'll explain this after I just need to think about this uh, if we're away then we want to switch it again to do not disturb and yeah that'll be enough for this um, if you want to add all of them of like invisible offline you can but the thing is with offline I was in a Skype call when I was testing it and it changed me to offline and actually ended the call so that's why I just didn't put offline because it's quite annoying but yeah we'll leave it for the free for now so basically what this is doing if we're online it's setting us to online then if online is equal to true it's changing us to away then if we're away then we do not disturb and then it's just going to keep going and going and going um, so yeah, let's test this out really quick get this to load up, open Skype up um, forget about this um, open the tool, connect to Skype let's see it connected uh, profile status looper start and if you check there uh, our status is changing it's a bit slow and that's just because the interval was 1500 we can lower that down or we can even do something else uh, which I'll show you so if we stop that we can actually edit the interval ourselves if you really want it, we're from within the tool 
uh, I'll just drag this down a little bit. Get another button. Uh, pull that down, and we'll just grab a text box. Align that. Uh, we'll set this button to say set interval. Uh, if we double click this button now, all it is is timer one dot interval is equal to text box eighteen. text. Now if we load that up now, same again, connect to Skype, uh, profile, we'll start the looper and we can set the interval to say 100 set interval and that is changing it far, so fast you can hardly see it. Uh, so 500 set interval. Now it's a little bit slower. Can't really see the away. But yeah, that's basically a simple status looper, and you just press stop there for that to stop. Um, close that off. So yeah, here's the code if you want to pause it and stuff. Uh, but that's really it for this video. You can edit that, add more statuses uh, that you like. So if you did like it, please be sure to thumbs up and comment. And if you're not already subscribed, please subscribe and I'll see you next time.